There may be times where you want someone to fill out a form and you want someone else to be emailed the results of that form. So I'm going to show you how you can add a script to your Google Forms so that when a form is submitted, an email is sent to someone else or even to the person filling out the form. So step one, obviously, is to create a form, and I'm going to borrow this example from an elementary school who uses an absence reporting form for this. So they have this form linked on their school website. Parents can fill out the form in the morning, click submit, and an email is then sent to the attendance secretary with the information for the absence. And this is an ideal method for tracking. If I go back to my Google Drive account, I'll see that my form is right here, and it collects all of the information from parents regarding absences for the entire year, time stamped and everything very nicely. But to avoid having to continually go in and check this all morning, the school wanted their attendance secretary to automatically receive an email as soon as parents filled out this form. Now creating a script is definitely a difficult process, but installing one and running one is not too tricky. In fact, this one we can install and run with really only three basic steps. So step number one is to install our script. To do so, Go to the insert menu and choose script. And the script I always use for this purpose is called form emailer. If you type form emailer into the search box without any spaces, you will get two results. The one that I always use is the top result that was created by hgabro at gmail.com. Once you've located form emailer, click the install button. You will get an authorization message from Google. Go ahead and authorize the script and a message that I can now run the script. So I need to click close. And I can also close this window. Now in my spreadsheet form, I can I see an additional column called form emailer. And I also have to install form emailer from this menu. So it's kind of a double install. So go ahead and go to the form emailer menu and select install. Keep the defaults just how they are and click the install button. As soon as form emailer is installed, I will add a sheet to your spreadsheet called form emailer and I never really adjust the sheet at all. I simply go back to sheet one using the tabs at the bottom of my spreadsheet and this is where my results will always come in and you'll see form emailer has added a column to my spreadsheet to let me know when emails are sent. So that is the purpose of this column. So step one is completed. I have installed the script. Step two is to customize the email that is sent out when someone submits the form. So now I will go to the form emailer menu and now that I've already installed it, I have options to adjust its settings. The form emailer settings bring up the email that will be delivered when someone sends out the form. And by default, it will go to the address of whomever owns this document or owns this form. But if I don't want the form to come to me when people fill it out, if I'd rather it go to um, another person at my school, I can simply erase my name and add theirs in here. I will often change the subject line and I will rarely change the body of the email. Now if you know HTML code, you're welcome to customize this. You can add in some items or remove items that aren't relevant to you. But by default, the form will email out every single column or item that is submitted by a parent and send it to the person who is listed in the two box. And that's exactly what I want to have happen. So I'm not going to adjust any of the values here. However, I did promise my parents on the form that they would also get an email copy of their responses. And so if you go into the advanced settings, you can adjust the quantity of emails that come out. So I'm going to change this from one to two and click save and close. This does drop me right out of form emailer and I need to go back into the settings. And now there will be two emails that can go out. So email one is going to the person I indicated and I can go into email two and I can customize this to go to the parents. So I'm going to erase my email address, and I don't know the e I don't know which parent is going to submit this. So this to field is going to change every time. What I'm going to do is use a placeholder for this. So I'll go up to the answers placeholder box and choose parent email address, and click the insert placeholder button. And you'll see now that the to field includes whatever parent is submitting the form, whatever email address they provided. That's where this confirmation message is going to go. And I'll change the subject line for their email to reflect that. That looks great. Now I'm going to click Save and Close. So I've completed steps one and two. I've installed my script and customized it. The only thing left for me to do is to adjust my trigger. I want this to happen all automatically. By default, form emailer will send out these emails when told to do so. I want the emails to go out as soon as someone submits anything to my form. 
To do that, I need to go in and customize just a little bit more of the script. And I do that by going to the Tools menu and choosing my Script Editor. Again, this is all one-time setup that once you have adjusted, you'll never have to worry about or go back to to revisit with this form. This is what the script of the form looks like, and I'm very pleased that I did not have to write any of this or adjust any of it. All I need to do is go up and look at my triggers. So I'm going to go to the Resources tab and look at the current script triggers. And right now there is no trigger added where emails will go out when someone submits a form. So I'm going to add a new trigger and it is going to be time driven. It is going to be information being sent from the spreadsheet, but not upon open. I want this to happen when the form is submitted. So simply change that third drop down menu to on form submit, click save, and you are ready to go. So right now I am in the form editor instead of actually on my form. So I just want to close right out of here. I'm just going to close the tab at the top of the screen. And here is my absence reporting form. Let's go ahead and test it out to make sure all of the triggers are working. So I'm going to go to the form menu, go to my live form, and I'm going to fill out some information. So I've jotted down some information. I did put in a real email address under parent email address so I can verify that that is working. So when I click submit, two emails should go out one to the person that I indicated and one to this paired email address. I have switched over to the email address for where these items should have been delivered and sure enough from form emailer I see a confirmation of entered information and this is what the email will look like when it arrives. So that is how you can use form emailer to automate the process of sending this important forms information to all the people who need to see it or to those who need a confirmation message. So you will have a nice spreadsheet that is keeping track of all of the data that is sent. You have a form email column that lets you know the emails have been sent and the people who need that information right away receive it immediately upon when it's being entered.